please welcome the athletes to the field of play. So first quarter final is about to begin here in this Asian CQT. Shooting on target number one, representing Malaysia, we have Mohammad Zairi, Ariana Nur Dania. Shooting on target number two, representing Bangladesh, is Siddiq Dia. So the two archers, Mohammed Zairi, Ariana. Is Mr. Wangnongbari Paya Barilia. And Dia Siddique of Bangladesh, two teenagers. Mohammed Zairi at 18 was the top qualifier with a score of 649 in the ranking round. 26 tens in her total. And she's had uh, wins over a Mongolian and a United Arab Emirates archer get through to the semi-final 6-0 and 6-2 and Siddique who already has an Olympic Games appearance under her belt in 2021 she finished eighth in qualification score is 634 and uh, has had uh, wins over archers from Mongolia and Vietnam it's a uh, one-eighth round match against Nguyen was only 1-6-4 so DK was pushed in that match now Mohamed Zaidi doesn't have a world ranking at the moment, DK currently ranked 63, she's been as high as 34 so Mohamed Zaidi here one of the new archers coming onto the scene out of Malaysia and clearly she's got some talent with her finishing top qualifier and having won two matches so far. She reached the round of 16 in the individual competition at the just completed Asian Championships here in Bangkok. DK was beaten in the first round. So here we go, quarterfinal number one. Here in this women's recurve. Here in Bangkok, it should be a uh, fascinating encounter between these two. Nine, I just have uh, clipped the 10 line that one, but uh, nine star to start the competition. That's DK. Already been as a touched on two, one Olympic Games and two World Championships. Double medalist from the 2021 Seven. Asian Championships. So she'll be looking to recapture some of that form that we saw a couple of years ago. The world ranking at the moment 63. It's dropped a little. Eight. So tied scoreline with one arrow left in this first set. Nine, baby well, it uh, might be a 10 for Muhammad Zaidi, which means to DK to win this set. She can do it with a 10. Seven. And it's a 7, so those uh, start arrows by Muhammad Zaidi will now not matter. She will take the first two set points. She could actually have scored two 10s in that set go to 27 so good start by the youngster she had a career best of 644 in qualification and she eclipsed that by five points here in the qualification round so well done to her and she's uh, just had the six matches won four of them so Pretty inexperienced on the international stage, Mohammed Zaidi, but you can see she's got some talent. Against the experienced the Siddique. Wow, she's enjoying the competition, you can tell. And uh 
tell she's very determined and uh, keen to win. Because, of course, uh, she, like uh, Siddiqui and all the other archers that we're going to see in this session, they desperately want to get to the Olympic Games, qualify their country, and, of course, the best chance for them to get themselves there is to qualify their country and put them in the box deep. And... Uh, most situations. So both of those arrows were upgraded to tens for Muhammad Zaire. So she won that first set pretty comfortably in the end by four points, 27 to 23. Wonderful start for her. So here's the second set. So DK will be wanting to bounce back. Two, eight, and a seven. On in that first set for her. Eight. Nothing in the yellow yet for DK. She'll be desperate to stop that trend. Nine. Well, there's the first gold uh, yellow score for Sadiqa. So tight score line again after two arrows. Sadiqa, uh, she can get a 10 here. Yep. Won't lose the set, and she does. It's a brilliant arrow. Perfect time to nail one. And uh, so she will... Yes, win the set. That was a clutch last arrow from the Bangladeshi Archer. So she's going to win that set by two points. And get back into the match. Yes, TK has been competing pretty well over the last couple of years. Asian Grand Prix circuit. They won a few medals. Gold earlier this year, silver and a bronze as well. So she's had uh, her fair share of podiums. She would have loved to have won a match in the individual competition in the Asian Champs just uh, that finished uh, two days ago. She also competed in the team, K finished in the round of 16 before the Bangladesh women's team were beaten. Muhammad Zaidi, well, she competed in all three events at the Asian Champs. As I said earlier, six round of 16 in the individual, quarter finalist in the teams, and a round of 16 in the mixed teams. And that arrow was a beauty to win that second set for DK. So it's a set each now. Well, the stakes are high here, aren't they? This is uh, big stuff for both of these archers. As we start the third set. No. Solid scoring from the Malaysian. Long hold here. Seven. Interesting to see both arrows going right for 
It's a DK, so here's Muhammad Zari, the big chance to win this third set, and she does in style. That was a great last arrow, absolutely emphatic. Good comeback by the 18-year-old. Much quicker release this time. So Sadiqe not getting comfortable on the shooting line on that occasion. And uh, Mohamed Zaidi with her highest score so far in this match of 28. Clips that uh, first set total of 27. So another 23 for Sadiqe. And now the Malaysian in the box seat with two sets to go we've got other archers uh, we've got uh, two from Iran to come one from Vietnam, Thailand Uzbekistan and one from India too so good spread of countries here in the women's quarterfinals one, please, by two point, four, two, line two, shoot first. Mohamed Zaidi with a four set, 4-2 lead in the, in this quarter final. Fourth set now. I will see if uh, Sadiqe's made some adjustments with those arrows just drifting right in that last set. Second 10 for her. Good time to get one too. Three tens for Muhammad Zaidi so far. DK's got her radar on song here. I'm inside a much quicker release. No doubt about her. So, Sadiqo with a nine can win this set. Take this to a decider. Yes. That's excellent archery. Great response to the pressure of the moment good last arrow there from Muhammad Zaidi as well obviously but it won't be enough to overhaul Sadiqe so we're going to a deciding set in this first quarter final and uh, Muhammad Zaidi has won her previous two matches 6-0-6-2 six, six, and now she's taken to the brink here with Sadiqe having won her last match 6-4 so Interesting to see where she can draw on that challenge, which was presented to her in that last match. She came through with flying colours. Just looking for that consistency. So DK scores so far 23, 27, 23, 28. So want to uh, stop that trend of having a poor set then a good one and then a, another one that she'd like to forget Ahmed Zaidi has uh, been the more consistent of the archers so far but of course the beauty of that set's format means that uh, the last arrows don't count anything now so last set of this first quarter final. Mohamed Zaidi, Ariana of Malaysia up against Dia Siddique of Bangladesh. 
This match is a, a one set encounter to see who goes through to the semis. Oh, beauty. Perfect time again. Last time she started the set with a 10, she won that. Has that dropped into the 10? It has. It's game on now, isn't it? These two have found their best form. Oof. That could be hugely costly. It's opened the door big here for Muhammad Zaidi. And she's taken it and she will win the match. Nice composure shown by the 60, the 18 year old to win it. And that's seven from Sadiqa, how critical that score ended up being. It's cost her any chance of victory, particularly when she comes back with that 10. Oh, it's hard luck for her. One loose arrow in that last set. And that's the difference between winning and losing. And Muhammad Zaidi is going to take the match by six set points to four, winning that final set by 28 to 27. And she moves through to the semifinals here at the Asian CQT for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. Here we are, all confirmed. So the 18-year-old is through to the final four. And keeps that Olympic dream alive for her country in the sport of archery. So well done to her. That result again, six to four. We'll be coming back shortly with our second quarter final.